Good morning, food foresters. All right. We are slowly but surely getting things done. Uh, yesterday it was on and off rain, so we didn't really video a lot because we use our cell phones as our video recorders. Uh, right now, Donald is over there uh, weed whacking. We took the top off of the greenhouse. It had ripped. Um, so it was going to come down. Um, we're cleaning up the greenhouse this morning um, before the rain start again because it's already looking cloudy and we're already got notices popping up that by one o'clock and the wind's blowing. That's another sign. And it's a cold breeze. That's not good here in Florida. No. No, no, no. So, all right, let's go take a look and see what Donald's doing because I don't like the weed whacker. <laughs> It's going, trying to get this garden area cleaned up now. Oh, wow. Look at the, wait, I want to see the, uh, yeah, I got a mow too. Yeah. Alrighty. So, yeah, we're doing a little cleanup. Um, before we got COVID, we were in here planting stuff and we left a big mess. So this is our next Big mess, huh, honey? Big time. Yeah. How's the mango plants or trees? Pretty good. We I should have got that top off of there a couple of weeks ago. Well, They're already burning. Oh. Well, after you, we get done weed whacking, we could probably go in there and just cut those dead ends. Yeah. Off. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna move this greenhouse. This really. Fall. You really want to move it? Yeah, the sour sop isn't going to survive without it. But I want to build a this greenhouse just isn't big enough for these trees. So I'm I'm just going to consider the the sour sop a loss and move this, use it for our starting plants cuz that's really all the bigger it's it's good for us for doing starts and a few little things and then uh, eventually build a bigger greenhouse that we can put some more tropical plants in. Hmm. But. Yeah, this is, we got a lot of big old mess going on. <laughs> we do, we do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get to work and then just kind of clean this area up today. That's, that's at least our goal. Alrighty, we pretty much got weed whacking done. I'm gonna have to come in here and hand pull between the rows here. Um, but got it almost cleaned up. Um, we found a blackberry bush that was growing and Donald planted it right there with the other because this is like our blackberry fence. But uh, got the mess cleaned up and back here we'll be able to, um, looks like the bananas all came back. They're doing really good. So happy with it. And there's that. So we are gonna go in and take a 10 minute break and then uh, we're gonna tackle the bottom of this greenhouse area. The next day. Hello, little Lydia. Hi, Lydia. Hi, honey. Hi, bunny girl. You guys gonna eat? Yeah. Hi, good boy. Hi. Hi, honey.
What is? I swear, I think the crows are just dropping stuff. There's a medicine bottle in here. I think the crows are, I mean, look, look at all the weird the stuff. Yeah, the soda can and there's a red solo cup. Or, the crows are doing it. I'm going to have to put up. Uh, I don't know what to do. Hot Clyde boy. Yes. Say, we got your new owners coming today. Yeah. You're going to get a new home and big open pastures and better set up and but yeah oh yeah they didn't eat all of the grass i put in there they ate a bunch of it though yeah look they, they're finding your little electronic stuff <laughs> well that's that shit what's this or that all that stuff uh yeah. Bonnie, hey Lydia. Hi Lydia, you ready to go to your new home? Yeah. They got lots of grass. Fresh grass for you guys. Bigger pens, bigger yard. And they are so excited for you guys. Yeah, they're going to be here. It's not even a 7 o'clock yet in the morning. They're going to be here for you guys. Well, they're ex-military. They're used to getting up early. Well, that's like me, you know. My, yeah. yep. my ex was in the military. We were always up at the butt crack of dawn. Sometimes earlier than that. <laughs> so. But everybody else is doing great. We got more. More little duckies and turkeys and... You are a loud mouth. And then I'm gonna show you guys the cuteness. The cuteness of it all. Hello little bum buns. Hello bum buns. This one I have to be careful with. She likes to jump up on you. A little a jump. Hi guys. Hi. Oh, good grief. I. No, no. Yeah, yeah, you stay there. Stop jumping on. This one jumped right in my arms again, even with me holding the camera. Come on, guys. <laughs> Alrighty. Bonnie, Lydia. Hi guys. Hi, you're going to go to your new homes? Yes. And there's Clyde Boy in the back, in the big one. Ah, oh, babies. You could be, you're going to be so happy. They got big old fenced in yard. They got paddocks, green grass. You guys will be able to romp. And they got barn and spools. And all that you cooked up. Yes, how funny. Yes, we're going to miss you. Thank you for being our favorites, huh, Lydia? Thank you for all the fun times. Clyde boy. Hi, Clyde boy. Oh, yeah. Clyde thinks it's sexy time. Huh. <laughs> I know, Bonnie. Hi, huh, guys. You be a good boy, Clyde, okay? All right, Clyde boy. Hi, Clyde boy. I know, Clyde boy. I know. Yes. All right. <laughs> there they go. Off to the new home. All right, guys. As you know, or as you just saw, goats are gone. Now, wanted to explain that oh yes i'm sorry we had company i had to couldn't let you guys out how stupid 
Let's let them out. Come on out, guys. Where's Miss Brody? I have a Brody chicken. There she is. There she goes. <laughs> All right. So I am going to be out here cleaning up and wanted to explain what has happened and why. The reason we got rid of the goats was we want to work more on getting things uh, situated with us. Um, what in the world? One, two, three, four, five. Hold on, you guys can see this. I have a whole mess of squirrels just playing on this tree. time <laughs> squirrels are funny I like them they don't bother me too much the crows uh, I already see one showing up now but the reason why we decided to forego the goats oh here comes the chickens um, was we wanted to get bigger goats these goats were for us to try out to see if we even like them like you know if we want to even deal with goats um if we want to uh you know go that route we want to get the uh place really fenced in good because we did enjoy the goats we do plan on getting more um i would like to go with a bigger breed i wasn't i was i mean it was nice uh, Missy, I mean, seriously, I could open the door now for you. There you go. Ta-da. How stupid. Y'all interrupting me. <laughs> um, but um, we want to go ahead and get bigger goats, a larger breed. And we want to also be able to, oh, more crows are showing up, gee whiz. And we also want to um, get this place fenced in and have a better setup. You know, this pole barn is one thing we keep talking about. We want to tear this down, make it shorter. Oh, sorry. Make it shorter and make it an actual barn where we can keep the goats safe. Right now, if we have some type of hurricane, I mean, all they have are dog, plastic dog houses. And, you know, for hurricanes, it's not really ideal, I want to say. Um, other than, you know, what we can make. And, <sighs> the fun. <clears throat> The goats haven't even been gone 30 minutes and you're already in their feed bowl, Missy. <laughs> Chickens. I'll leave this open for them, but I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to take out the, um, the food and water bowls. I'm going to put the, uh, the dog, ha this dog house here back inside that corral just for safekeeping and then I'm going to pick up Clyde's dog house and food and water. Sarge! They're... Sarge! 
He doesn't like the squirrels. Sarge, it's just squirrels. It's okay. <laughs> but that is our reasoning behind getting rid of them. The trial run we had where we did everything we did with them, we did enjoy it. And we want to go to the next stage and hopefully by the time we're ready for the next stage, we'll have more areas fenced in or we can even buy the electric netting. Um, that way we can move them around onto the property. You know, we got all this that just grows like a weed that they can eat, you know. Don't have to pay gas for a lawnmower. So I'm going to go ahead and get busy in here and uh, get it all straightened out.